Hey you guys, it's Brandy Chanel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your Ready to Love Season 4 Episode 4 Review. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I know I'm a day late and a dollar short for this review, honey, but me and my husband had went to, um, we went to Austin, Texas to Top Golf, you know, to, you know, have a little good time. We were celebrating his birthday. So that's why I'm late on this review, but y'all ain't hear me, you know, y'all ain't come here to hear me talk, talk. So let's go ahead and get into this review. So, um, the men meet up with Tommy and he's letting them know that this week they have to, uh, eliminate one of the ladies. And he also instructed them to take the ladies out on a date that was, you know, out of their comfort zone or whatever. A lot of these dates seem like normal dates. It's nothing out of the, you know, out of the comfort zone. Like horseback riding, you know, would have been out of the comfort zone. Like something most women would like to do. That's what I would have liked to see. I mean, going to the bar. I mean, some of these dates was like, the man's comfort zone and the woman just sitting there like, okay, let's have some conversation. Like, I don't know, but it was, it seemed like normal dates to me. So Frank and Aisha are going out on a date. They go on a, they go on to shoot some pool again. I don't know how that's, you know, out of the comfort zone, but okay. You know, Frank is pretty much letting Aisha know that she was his first pick. He's doing a lot of complimenting her and he's like really laying it on thick, which I like because I don't know, you guys, the women on this show is giving me more pick me vibes and we'll discuss that later. But they're giving me a lot of like pick me, pick me, pick me. And the women who are not giving that vibe are not getting the attention, i.e. Ticia, right? So, you know, they're talking. I like I said, I said in my notes, I don't know if he's for real or he's just liking her and just telling her these things. I don't know. A lot of these men. It's hard to tell if they are really genuine or they just kind of like, I'm just saying whatever, you know, so I ain't trying to get eliminated. That's basically what I'm saying here. All right. So they go into the um, photo booth, and, you know, they get really handsy, you know, they flirt and kissing or whatever the case may be on the first date. Okay. So Tyrone and Carrie meet up and this conversation annoyed the shit out of me. Listen, it, he's, he, I feel like Tyrone did all of that just to say that I'm not interested in you. I found somebody, I found somebody who I'm more interested in than you. Like, I felt like he was just laying it on thick. He, he was just coming up with the excuse, like I am a great, like she was aggressive. And I was kind of with, um, Carrie for, you know, I was kind of with Carrie when she was a little taken aback by that. Like, don't call me aggressive. We're we're in the same situation. We're in the same boat. You say you ready to find love. I'm ready to find love too. So you showing me interest and I'm giving you the same energy back. All you had to do was say, okay, you found interest in someone else. You know, that's all you had to say. Don't Don't call me aggressive because I'm showing you interest. Because on one hand, these men are saying that, well, Tyrone is saying that, you know, She's aggressive and she came on strong, whatever the case may be. Then on the other hand, they're saying, well, Tissia is not, you know, she's not showing any interest. There's a wall up and this, that, and the third. Like, bitch, what, what, what do you want? What the fuck do you want? I don't know. It was like, I'm confused. You know what I mean? So he said he liked, he liked the fact that he liked her, that she was, um, he was interested in her, but she was aggressive. He said when he was talking to Shiloh that Carrie seemed a bit jealous, but when they played the clip, she was just standing there with the drink and she was smiling because at this point he's talking about the mixer where they all were meeting up. So why would she be jealous? Because you asked another woman for, you know, for her number or you gave her your number. That's what we're here to do. This is a mixer. We're here to mix and mingle. That's what we're doing. She didn't cut her eyes. And I, he was full of bullshit, full of bullshit. Um, Carrie says that she wasn't aggressive. She was showing interest, which is what you men want. Y'all want pick me's. Y'all love pick me vibes. So that's what she was giving you. But yet, child, please. So Carrie sent him a text message at 1230 AM and sent him another in the morning. Asked if he was still interested. 
Carrie, don't do that. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, honey. Like, you, I understand you're ready for love, but we don't, we're, we're ready for love. We're not trying to be desperate for it, okay? What is this on my head? I don't know, this is white shit on my head. Anyway, we're, we're ready for love, but we're not tr desperate for love, is what I'm saying. I'm, to me, it was like, be cute with it. You know what I mean? Like, be cute with it. Be cute with it. Let's let's not, you know, text one minute, then you don't hear back text again. Like, you're just getting to meet this person. Go out and go find someone else. This is this situation's for, you know, to get to know as many people as you can and make connections to as many people as you can. He ain't putting all his, his eggs in one basket for you, so why should you do the same? So that is a little pick-me-ish to me. I don't know. Uh, she's saying that he could have told her he wasn't interested, um, that he was interested in someone else that morning. He's saying there's not a good time to tell. I said that morning was a good time. You know what I mean? You're, you're on one hand, you're complaining that she was aggressive, but she asked you a direct question. Just give her a direct answer. I mean, this situation, keep in mind, these are middle-aged women, okay? In their thirties, their clocks are, they do, it's clicking, tick, 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 tick. Their clocks are ticking. They're going like this, okay? We don't have time for games. If you're not feeling me, please let me know so I can move the fuck on and I ain't got to waste my goddamn time. I think that's what these men are not understanding, okay? Just let me know so I can move the fuck on because if you're not interested, then somebody else is and I need to go find that person. So he was just full of shit. I think he just did all that to say that he's not interested in her, okay? Corey, Cornelius, Courtney, and Camille all go to the skater ring on a date. I thought it was so messy of Corey <laughs> to invite two women that he knows Cornelius has made connections with. Okay, I thought that was so messy. So Camille and Cornelius are talking and when I say pick me, there in the dictionary, if there is a definition for pick me, Camille is like right there. Camille at this point is not even, excuse me, it's not even pick me. It's like, it's just, it's just flat out desperation, right? In her mind, I think she feels like she's in a relationship with Cornelius. Okay. But Cornelius just doesn't know. <laughs> Cornelius just doesn't know. I just think like, girl, y'all just met. Okay. He's a good looking man. Beautiful smile. I get it. But girl, like pull it back some and collect yourself they are talking and you know cornelius says he wants to wait and she is like well what if you wait and then you you know y'all in the bed together and y'all y'all you do to do or whatever the case may be and it's not good and he said not with me it's not not with me that ain't gonna never happen with me okay okay then that should be like that anyway but um then they go into his finances and She's just just throwing herself at him like it's so it, it just I'm it's real cringeworthy like girl pull it back some pull it back like you, you don't want to just oh my god I'm like girl you're doing the absolute most okay and then you have um so before we get to Corey and Courtney so he looks back and she's like don't look over there don't look over there I'm like you are showing that you are six shades of crazy, honey. You are crazy, cray cray. Okay, so Corey and Courtney are talking, and Corey is full of shit. Is is that is where I'm at with Corey? Like he's full of shit. He's just trying. I feel like at this point he's making connections with all these women to stay in the game. That's basically what it is. It's a game to him. You know, and Courtney, I, I like Courtney, but I feel like she comes on strong just a little bit too much. But it's just like, I wish these women would have taken who Corey is the first time. Meaning, you know, he showed you who he was the first time. The first, at that mixer, he showed you what he was. So if he can do that, he can do some more shit too. I don't, I don't bit believe Corey and these antics. Then he says, you know, we we ride together, you know, die together. Like I was like, wait, wait, is this? Are you really quoting bad boys right now? Like, are, are you? Is that what you're doing? 
Like, I don't, it's like, he's, he's not even original. Like, I've seen men like Corey before. He's, he's not even original. So it's like, girl, move it along. Disperse, okay? So then um, they're talking. He gives her flowers and same old rigmarole, honey. It wasn't nothing going on with Corey. Um, Walter and Mumin is going, I think her name is Mumin. That's what I think her name is. It's going on a date. I Walter and Phil are my favorites. I somewhat like Frank. Um, I don't know about Frank. I'm on the fence about Frank. But I think Walter and Phil are my favorites because they seem the most genuine. Um, I just wish the women would stop throwing themselves at these men, even if they seem like they are genuine. You cannot just, it's just so desperate. I keep saying that, but it is, it's desperate. Okay, um, Walter talked about his relationship with his dad and that they really don't have a relationship. Muman says that she does not have a relationship with her dad, so maybe that's why she likes older men. Red flag, daddy issues. Okay, Walter, you better watch, boo. Then she calls him daddy at the end. I'm just like, girl, what it what it? <laughs> What am I watching? What am I watching? I don't never want to date again. If this, if, is this the kind of games I have to play? I do, I never want to date again. If me and my husband don't work out, bitch, I'll just be single and have me a little boo on the side, okay? Get me a little sugar daddy. I am not going through all of this. Look at my notes. I'm not going through all of this. That is crazy. Okay, so Phil, Donta, Carrie, and Shiloh go on a date. They go working out. Again, I don't understand how this this is out of Dante's cover um, comfort zone. He likes to work out, so why would you? Anyway, so I thought it was kind of cute that Dante gave Carrie the hardest band to work with. It was kind of funny. She was struggling with that damn band. So Phil and Shiloh are talking. They're connecting. I love Phil. I think Phil is like. Phil is like one of those guys. He's not like a pretty boy cute. He's like, he's cute, but not pretty boy cute. He's like rough around the edges. That's what I like about, uh, about him. Um, Dante and Carrie are having a conversation. Dante and Carrie, it seems like Carrie, she's trying too hard because these men, and I, like, I don't understand. Like they're, they're, first off, their conversation was not flowing. But Carrie is all Carrie is the one um giving all the energy and Dante just like uh, 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 uh. like I don't like to me I just feel like these men they want women to just not try so hard but throw themselves at them you know not be independent be a pick me that that's that's the feeling that I'm getting because Carrie was actually showing interest. That's what she's been doing this whole time is showing interest. And it seems like if she's not, you know, flirting with them and, you know, overly complimenting them and it, it just seems like they're, they're not interested. Or if they're talking about their profession, they're not interested. So I, I don't know. Um, I have here for Phil and Shiloh, it seemed like they were getting along pretty good. Um, Zadia and Naeem go on a date to a bar while Frank goes on a date with Tizzy, okay? Um, like I said, I kept saying it in my notes. I don't see how these dates are out of anyone's comfort zone. I kept saying that. Okay, so the way... So, <laughs> Tizia and Frank are at a bar, and y'all know from the beginning that Tizia, that not Tizia, but Frank, he's like a bartender. He works the nightlife or whatever the case may be. So the, he was shaking it up like y'all know that dance they did back in the day um, when Slim thought I forgot it was it was the song used to come on we used to do this right here and that's what he was doing with that and it looked it really weird um, it was weird it was like it's, she wasn't like she didn't show like oh my god look at that look at she wasn't doing all that she's like okay so what like. He felt like, I think he was trying to impress her and she wasn't like, she's not easily impressed by that. She wasn't. 
Um, what I put here. So meanwhile, Z uh, Zadia and Naeem are talking about spoiling his women. He says he spoiled his women with love and attention. That's wonderful. That's great. Like what else? I need to, what else you spoiling with? <laughs> like what? What else? Love and attention. You know, could can you provide and protect? Can you do that? Okay. Uh, Frank and Tissia are talking and he says that the reason why they're on a date is because they want to get to, they want to get a connection. But Tissia, okay, so Tissia first says that, um, you know, how long does it take you to get a connection? Because, you know, you know, it don't take that long. He said, well, that's why we're here now. And then they start talking and it's kind of like she starts talking about her profession because he's, he asked her about herself so she says she was she's an entrepreneur she started her own tech company so she's able to you know um she's able to you know take off when she wants she works on her own time and he seems like all she's talking about is her work and you like i said I, i'm i've said it before i feel like i'm repeating myself but these men just want someone to overly you know just overly compliment them and rub all over them and just fall all over them like Aisha was in the in the phone booth. And that's not Tissia. Tissia is confident in who she is. She ain't she don't have to do all of that. She don't have to act a fool on TV just to get some man's attention. It's, I mean, I want love, but I'm not trying to act a fool for it. I mean, come on. Like that's crazy. Um, what else happened? Okay, so the men meet up for elimination, honey, and everyone says who they make connections with. So it seems like they, everyone made connections with um, Shiloh. Everyone, I heard Shiloh's name mentioned. I heard Courtney's name mentioned. I heard, um, what's the girl's name? Camille's name mentioned. So they all are feeling those ladies. The two that they were not feeling is Carrie and TCO. Um, which ended up being the, the ones at the bottom two. So they're all going on a date and they ended up eliminating um, Carrie. So Naeem went out with Carrie and Cornelius went out with Ticia and Carrie ended up leaving. Listen, um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what these men want. I feel like they want a woman. They say they want a confident woman. They say they want someone who shows interest and all of that. But it doesn't, the ones that are showing interest, they eliminated them. Um, they keep giving Tissia a hard time about being self-assured, uh, being independent. And I think that's really the thing. I don't think it's so much of her talking about her profession. I think it's so much so that she's confident. She doesn't really need a man financially for anything. And y'all all know men want to feel needed. So that's that's and that was it for ready to love it was a cute episode one whole lot going on i know this is like super short for for me but um that's it you guys let me know how the ep how you felt about the episode down below in the comments don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel until next time toodles